Hello and welcome to a new series, Rome 2 Total War using the Divide et Impera mod or DEI mod version 1.1 um, and I have a couple of sub mods with this mod uh, one of them it changes the uh, it changes some of the names back to English um, because uh, with this DEI mod they they change some of the unit names to I guess the actual names or something and it was just it's kind of confusing um, so this just changes that back to Eng English and in DEI they also give you a um, you get a uh, a penalty a public order penalty for having troops stationed in cities and I got a mod that negates that. Those are the only two sub mods that I'm using. But yeah, DEI it is a overhaul of Rome 2. There is a lot of changes that they make. Um, it's really too much for me to try to explain because I don't really know. Well, I know I've I've read a lot about it, but I I'm gonna I'll, I'll try to explain the changes as we go. Uh, but I will link to their to their forums where you can read about it if you're interested in it. Um, it changes combat. It changes just everything, really. And they even, in version 1.1, added a supply system in it where you have to have your armies and navies supplied. So that's really cool. Uh, there's weather effects. It, it depends on where you're at, like in the desert. Um... Uh, that can affect you in the northern regions uh, the winters uh, can affect you so yeah it's just a lot of changes uh, so it should make the game really interesting um, okay so let's get right into it we are going to do uh, a grand campaign uh, we're going to play the house of Julia um, we're going to play on uh, hard I'm not going to do very hard because I think, um, well, I'm not very good at this game, and I think uh, uh, I uh, I think playing on very hard would be just really for me right now too much. Uh, so we'll play on hard. That should be quite the challenge itself. Um, uh, okay, yeah, and I say let's get it going. So let's start the campaign. All right. Um, there's no sound to this, so what I'll do is just stop it, and um, I'll explain it to you. Uh, well, first thing, objective. We have a um, an objective here to control two provinces, and we get 3,500. Great. Okay. Now with this mod, you start out. You've already conquered the Etruscan leaves, so we already have uh, a retrium. Aretium and Ariminum. Uh, we have those two provinces, and Carthage controls uh, Corsica at Sardinia. Okay. Down below us here, Syri here's Syracuse, and then here's Carthage. Um, I think diplomacy-wise, with Carthage. Let's check out what our diplomacy is with them. Okay. Is a good we have a non-aggression pact. Of mutual benefit. So let's get a trade agreement with Carthage. Great. The people of Carthage will be pleased. Okay. And let's go ahead and try to get a trade... Ag well, we already have uh, a trade agreement with Syracuse. Perfect. Uh, great. Now this is the vanilla map. Um, I didn't, I didn't use the map mod. I th I thought it might screw with this mod, so I just left it out. Okay. Let's see if we can trade with uh, Athens. Enter, friend. Trade and agreement. Speak. Nope. You would not sell much. Uh, Sparta, we can't. Epirus, which doesn't like us. Damn. They do not like us. They're not going to want to trade. Uh, we have these guys here. 
Greetings. Now speak plainly. No, so they're not going to either. I am sure that okay. your way is try these guys. We can't. Uh, let's try these guys. Greetings. Speak plainly and, and we got one with them. I accept Great. the name of our people. Could we Let get a non aggression time. pact with them? Ah, perfect. Your offer is fair Kay. and honorable. I swear by the gods that for our part, I think what we may we have agreed. I think what we may do is we may try to we may try to attack um uh, Venete straight away and then we have here we have uh, Liguria Let's, can we get a trade wait a minute we already have trade and a non-aggression pact with them oh wait a minute that ain't them I've got the wrong thing here okay trade I welcome you worthy speaker I listen no we're not going to get one with them okay I do Okay, so that's all we can tr trade with right now. Okay. Alright. Okay. Um, so we have a navy here. Okay, now if you look at this, if you look here, down here, if you hover over this symbol here, it says fleet at sea. Your fleet is in open sea. Supplies are depleted in eight turns. So your fl your your navies can be out at uh, out at sea for eight turns then they have to go back into port get resupplied uh, and then come back out and I think they have to stay in port for one turn or something like that probably I don't know I haven't tried that but what we're going to do is we're going to click this and we're going to get rid of the navy like that okay let's get rid of the navy and then what we will do is we want to create a an admiral and we're going to send an admiral out just to explore uh, explore the area explore areas of the map and which way do we want to head first Mm, probably this way. So let's create an admiral here. Raise forces. We'll we'll pick um, this guy here. Raise the fleet. We'll get the cheapest ships we can. Which would be these. Recruit. Okay, and and we'll send him uh, out here. Okay. Alright, now, uh, if you look here on that Admiral, if it's just an Admiral, he doesn't require to be back in port. If it's just, yeah, if it's just an Admiral with no ships, he can just explore. It doesn't require to be back in port in eight turns. Alright, so we have a spy here. Now, agents here work different also. Like, dignitaries are, are you can make them governors of provinces. Um... Uh, Spies will still explore, and they will also try to recruit other spies. I don't know if they can. They I know they can poison armies or towns or something. The food supply. I don't know if they can assassinate. Uh, and the the champions. I think you attach them to armies, and they get bonuses. I'm not really sure about that. Uh, so we'll find out about them. Um, so what I want to do first is I want to take this spy and get her up here and um, speed that up yeah and we want her to come why is the, why am I getting lag uh, we want her to come over here and open up Massilia expose Massilia so we can we can trade with them um, All right, so we have an army here. Unit upgrades. Make sure to research unit upgrade. Okay, I'm not sure what that's about. Okay, so we have an army up here, and then we have a army down here. 
and another one here. Alright, so we'll try to get this guy up here. Okay. And who is this? Fabius Maximus. Alright. Fabius. He is Fabius. Um why don't we get this guy? Move him here. Take Fabius and put his troops into this guy. Put him in there and we'll just Uh Let's check here. Who is Fabius with um He is with other houses. So we have other houses. We have Libio, Scipio, and Brutus. Okay, what we'll do is we'll just get rid of Fabius. Okay. Alright. Okay, now we, um, if we click on. Rome here. Here is, uh, it's kind of neat, it kind of has a little thing here that tells you about the city. Uh, you can pause the video if you want to read that, uh, but I'm not going to. Uh, I've already read it, of course. Um, yeah, I played this, I don't know, about 10, 15, 20, well, no, it was, yeah, 20 to 25 turns or something like that, just to make sure it worked. Uh, I kind of have an idea of how the supply system works, but I'm not perfect on it but uh, hopefully we can get it figured out as we go um, okay so this is Rome's kind of Rome's setup here we have plus five public order um, so that's I guess we're okay here let's see what uh, Magna Gratia we have negative six public order cultural differences taxes faction okay so we have a thing with cultural differences going on here. Um, so we want to get some consecrated ground, I guess, built right away here in Magna Gratia. That will help with our cultural differences uh, and public order. So let's get two of those going. Um, now with armies, you can't put them on force march, but you can fortify them, um, ambush stance, raiding stance, uh, or patrol a region. And with patrolling a region, it will give you a plus four public order, um, uh, minus five morale, uh, minus 25 ammunition, minus 25... Um, it also so it gives you some bonuses, but you you don't want to you don't want to patrol a region uh, that's a frontier region because like I said you get minus five morale minus twelve point five melee defense, um, but it does give you a public order boost. Um, okay, so I guess the plan we're going to. The goal here is we're going to leave Carthage alone. We've got a non-aggression pact with them, and we're trading with them. Uh, so we're going to leave them alone, and we're going to try to get Cisalpania. These three territories here, Genoa, Medlan, and Patavium. That is my goal. So we're going to get this general. We're going to these troops down here we're going to get them combine them with this general and get them up here and I think we will will strike Batavium first and then we'll wait it just depends on how many troops he has but we we will we will kind of wait for an opportune time to attack these like wait for them to go to war or whatever we'll see how it goes but yeah, attacking, taking uh, Cisalpania, if we look on the map here, yeah, Cisalpina, is it Cisalpina? 
Cisalpina. Cisalpina. Okay. But yeah, that's these three regions here. That's what we want. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, let's go to research. Okay. Now with research, we want to get. I I I think what we first want to get is is the governors, and we have to. It's under either economy or philosophy. So we will we'll, we will research civil first. So let's do that. Um, and then let's go here to uh, our character Lebo, and we'll go ahead and secure a promotion for him because that gives us some bonus plus three tax, plus one gravitas, minus five percent upkeep cost, plus two point five percent melee defense. So we will promote him straight away. Okay. Uh, we have 720 left. I don't think we can really do anything with that. Well, yeah, I don't think we we want to do anything. We'll just leave. We'll wait. We'll wait. We won't build anything here. I don't know if we could build anything. Could we build? What is our food? We could. We could like put. Um, we have a, we have consecrated ground here, which I don't even know if we're going to need. Um, I guess we could put a villa. I don't even know. Do I have enough for a villa here? We'll wait. We'll wait a turn before we make a villa. I don't think there's nothing else I really need to do here. Is there? Is there? Am I forgetting anything? Uh, we've moved our spy. We've moved our navy. So let's just end the turn. Oh, uh, an edict. Okay. <clears throat> well, we will put an edict. They've changed the edicts too. Um, so you can look through all of these and see what they're, um, what they do. Commercial plus twenty plus twenty percent population over time. Uh. uh I think what we will do is we will just stick with the tax harvest. Let's do that. Okay. Try to get some more monies. Uh, and then we will just, uh, yeah, end the turn. Um, I mean, it would, uh, it would be great if Carthage and Syracuse went to war and Syracuse took over Sicily. Um, then we could try to rush down there and and uh, take it, but I doubt that's going to happen. Uh, Brutus returned home. Maximus Fabius Maximus returned home. Okay, war declared. Oh shit! They're already at war. Damn. Damn, that was quick. Okay. Well, that could change what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, that could change it quickly, actually. Um, again, we'll just have to see what happens here. But if Syracuse was to take um, Lily Beyond, Lily Beyond, Lily Beyond. If they were to take that, then we would want to rush down here and try to take this. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay, we got the edict issue. Let's go to our navy. Um, okay, here, this kind of brings up a question. Do I want to keep my navy... Well, it's going to take them a few turns, so let's actually try to get our navy over here to open. Uh, I don't know. So we want to open up some areas so we can try to trade, but I want to keep an eye open here in case... Well, we'll give it a few turns. We really need to... 
we really need to try to open up some areas over here to trade okay let's get our spy which is here get her over here and then we will open up this area here okay we'll still try to get this guy we'll get him moved up to here this is Scipio now we could put we could just have one let's see here he's got one two three four five six seven hmm seven and then that would be eight nine okay um can we recruit we can't re what, what do we have here we have a field of mars so we can't recruit principes until we have a uh, let's see recruit oh well, we can recruit we can recruit early principes okay um <laughs> I think we will just combine him into one. I think that would be good. Uh, so we'll do that next turn. Again, we're going to keep an eye here to see if by chance he takes over this. Then we will move. I'd hate to move this army down here and then Carthage take it. Because quite frankly, well, if Carthage does uh, I mean, can it, it's a <laughs> it's the problem here is if Syracuse does take over the whole of Sicily, do we move our one big army down here and try to take it and then leave all this open? I mean, we would we would probably be leaving ourselves open for attack, wouldn't we? Against. Uh, negative 14 negative 10 negative 10 we'd probably be leaving ourselves open for attack here so that might not be the best we might should strike north irregardless of what happens down here so we'll, I guess we'll plan for that we hunger for battle. I guess we'll plan for that. So, uh, now let's go back actually to diplomacy. I tried to... Athens. Let's try to trade with them again. For the sake of friendship that has been and friendship... Damn it. You. They don't like us. Cannot trade with them. We are trading with them. Ah, Massilia. Okay, great. Can we trade with them? Be welcome here and speak as you wish. Can we also get a non-aggression pact? Yes. You speak. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So we got that opened up. Uh, all right. So we will bring our spy. We will get her back over here. I think we're. I think we'll stick with the strategy, irregardless of what happens here. Because I think I think Syracuse is going to lose. They, I think one time. Well, in my vanilla series, they did win though. Uh, so I don't know. But even if they do win, I don't think we're going to be able to afford. The, the unit cost in DEI, it, it's uh, a lot larger. So we're not going to be able to just spam out big armies. So, okay. Anyhow, let's go to, let's go down here. Um, we So we have two consecrated grounds we are building. So let's go to Italia. Now, <clears throat> 
uh, with Italia. <laughs> what do we want to build? Um, like I said, we have this, which is plus two public order and, and Latin culture, but we don't really need it, do we? So do we want to, we have 2800 do we want to spend that money on building or do we want to spend it on armies? Uh, well, we could do a bit of building because it's going to be a few turns. So if like Eritrium, maybe we'll go ahead and get, uh, yeah, I think get a villa. A villa costs 11 36 it'll give us two food and 40 wealth this will give us plus two public order plus one growth um, let's get a villa up and running um, should we get another villa here Yeah, this should be a hundred percent Latin culture. It is. Okay. I'm not going to get another villa. I'm going to wait because I'm not really sure. Okay. We'll just wait. We'll hold on to that. Okay. Uh, there's nothing really else I need to do. <clears throat> I don't think. So let's go ahead. We already moved our Navy, right? I have to keep checking this because I always forget. Yeah, we moved him. All right, let's end the turn. I mean, don't get me wrong. If Syracuse did take over all of Sicily, that would be great. If they could hold it. I doubt if they could hold it and we don't have we won't have the troops to run down there and take it it would need to be a really large army um, wouldn't it maybe maybe not Carthage in Syracuse Carthage is gaining the upper hand in Sicily Sicily in turmoil yeah well good for them okay so let's get him um, Actually, I think there's a, there's a place here we could open up. All right, let's go to our spy, which is here, and we'll get her moved over here. Okay, so this is uh, in Surbrae's, this, we'll put the spy like right here. Okay, faction encountered, who do we in Kenosis? Okay, so we could probably trade with them. Enter, friend, and speak. Moderate. Yeah, they accept it. Now. Okay. All right, so this guy can move to where? He can move all the way up to here. So we'll put him down. Do we want to have two armies or one army? I have to figure this out. I think one army. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ready for battle. All right, so let's move him up to here. And then let's move this guy up to here and then we will place we will place one of these and this in there we'll move them in there and he can't move anymore okay alright alright that'll be fine um, and then we'll move him up to here and then yeah okay alright yeah I think that's that's good and we already moved our navy didn't we yeah, okay. Alright, we moved our navy. Alright, let's take a quick look over here. Syracuse, their army's gone. I don't know if it's been destroyed or not, but 
probably has, or it's over here fighting. I wish I had eyes over here to see, but I don't know. I just have a feeling Syracuse is not going to hold out long against Carthage, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, all right, we're going to call it there. Yes, I'm excited to try out this DEI mod. Uh, it, it it really changes a lot of the game. I think it's going to make things tougher, um, and you just have to. It just it yeah it's just wow a total total new new way of playing. Uh, so it's going to be quite interesting to see how we do. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.